Hi, today we're going to go over the assembly process for a MagicQ Studio Series teleprompter. So what I have in front of me are the three pieces that the main chassis comes broken down into when you first open the box. So let's go ahead and put this together. The first piece over here are your rear rails and it has a camera bracket uh, attached to it already. We're going to go ahead and slide these two rails into the center piece and tighten down the blue thumb screws on the underside of that center piece of the chassis. Once we have that put together, we're gonna to set it aside for a sec. We're gonna come over to this front rail system. We have a monitor bracket. Now we're gonna need this for the next step. So what we're gonna do is take this large uh, knob here and we're gonna loosen it. And we're gonna remove this bracket from the rail system before we go ahead and attach it to the chassis itself. We're gonna go ahead and take that piece off. We're gonna set this aside for just a sec. And actually, we can go ahead and put these rails into the chassis itself. We're just gonna need that bracket for the next step. And just like before, we're gonna tighten this down onto the chassis. So the next step, now that we've done that, is attaching the bracket to the monitor. All right, so here's our next step. This is your MagicQ Studio monitor right here. Included in the monitor box is this bag that includes a bracket and a small bag of hardware. Well, what we're after here is this bag of hardware because that's what we're gonna use to go ahead and mount this bracket onto the back of this monitor. This one right here, we're not gonna use, so we're gonna go ahead and set it aside. Okay, great, so now what we have to do is flip this monitor over and what you'll see is these mounting holes on the rear of the monitor here. We're gonna take our bracket and we're gonna line up these holes so that the top holes of the bracket are at the top holes on the monitor. And what'll happen is these holes will line up here. And once you have that bracket nice and lined up, we're gonna go ahead and dive into our bag of hardware. And we're gonna go ahead and pull out these small screws right here. These are the ones we're going to use to attach the bracket to the monitor. The rest of these are used for mounting this monitor onto a wall or some other surface. We're not going to use those. We're going to go ahead and put them back in the baggie and set them aside. All right, so using a screwdriver, we're just going to go ahead and screw these small screws into the bracket, mounting the bracket onto the back of the monitor just like so. Now we're ready to attach the monitor onto our MagicU chassis. Okay, now that we've gone ahead and attached our rear bracket to the rear side of the monitor, we're gonna go ahead and uh, attach the chassis. So let's turn this to the side here and grab our chassis piece that we put together. There we go. So let's make sure that this is facing down, right? So we want the, the monitor facing the same way as the rest of the hardware here. We'll go ahead and make some room and just sit this right into these front uh, carbon fiber rails here. And then what we have to do is take our rear side of the bracket and attach it. Now be careful of small pieces here because you probably have a small washer that was on that bracket when we started. We're going to put this plate on here and fit it to the rails. Then we're going to put this washer right over this screw like so. Take our knob and just go ahead and tighten it down until it's secure. Great. Once we're nice and tight on there, we can flip the whole thing over. And if you need to make uh, adjustments, you can do so by loosening this knob and the whole bracket will slide on these rails here. All right, the next step is to attach our glass piece. And we're gonna do that by sliding it into this bracket here. Now, this large blue knob located on the underside will adjust the angle of this piece here. So you can adjust the angle of your glass uh, for, for better viewing angle, or also in this case, to make it a little bit easier to slide in. So let's take our glass. 
Now the glass is going to have these two blue thumb screws. We're going to remove those. Okay, so once we have the blue thumb screws removed, we're going to go ahead and flip our glass around so that the camera hood is facing the correct way back toward the camera and the glass is facing your monitor here. And then this is going to slide into this piece just like so. And what you're going to want to do is line up those two holes on the bracket so that we can put our blue thumb screws back into place. Now we could take our blue thumb screws, tighten them down into the glass. Okay, great. We're almost done. Just a couple more small steps. We're going to take our sun shield and this will just uh, this will just attach onto the front of the glass using the Velcro here. You can go ahead and just place it around the front. If you need the sun shield, you're out in the field or something like that. You can go ahead and just put the sun shield on there. And also, if you need to adjust the position of your rear camera bracket, you can do that by loosening this knob down here and then sliding this uh, forward or backward on this rail. Once you have the position that you want, go ahead and just tighten the, tighten the knob back down so that you're secure. And also, you have two different levels of riser on here, and if you find that you need the taller riser facing forward, you can do that by unscrewing these two blue thumb screws, just like so, and removing this bracket, turning it around, just like this, and then it can tighten right back down into the bracket, giving you a couple more inches of height to place your camera on and get it up closer to the glass. And also, if you need to make any more height adjustments, you can use this knob here to turn and raise the entire rear rail assembly, bringing everything up higher. And that can be lowered just by turning this back down the other way. Once the glass is in place, you can still use the large blue knob to adjust the angle. And for connecting your computer for using prompting software, all of your connectors are on the rear side of the monitor here. So that's the assembly for a MagicQ Studio Series prompter. Uh, pretty easy to go ahead and do, but if you have any questions, feel free to give us a call here at our office at 408-229-9222. Thanks so much for watching.